Hey there, Sheepdoggers, and welcome to Sheepdog's unfair review of Sunless Sea. This is a game that uh, I saw on Early Access. I had a few people recommending it to me. Uh, they said it was quite cool, like a nice little roguelike game. And yes, it's Early Access, so it's an early uh, unfair review. And I'm kind of enamoured with it in a strange way. Uh, you can see, let's just bring this up very slightly. There we go. A little bit of music, a little bit of ambience. Uh, quality, sublime, resolution, windowed, uh, screen effects. That's your options. There you go. People always want options, don't they, in reviews. Um, we're going to start a new game. Yes. Um, and basically, uh, the, the game is based on the world of Fallen London. If you played that, you might know what's going on. If you haven't, you probably won't. Um, so I'm not going to explain massively. Like I'm not. I may do a series of this where I will actually explain the game and go over it and and tell you what everything means. But for this, I'm just going to give you kind of my understanding of how things work and how things go and what I think of it and kind of the same as I usually do. Uh, so when you start, let's move this slightly. There we go. It always, for some reason, it always moves back to there, which makes placing a cam very difficult when you're streaming. Uh, so I did some uh, research on this uh, in a stream, uh, which I'll probably be doing more often. If you want to watch me figure out a game and see whether I like it or not, I'll be streaming that kind of thing uh, for my unfair reviews. Choose a path, decide who you were and what you want to be. Okay, so first of all, we should probably go over up here. You have your your crew here, um, you, uh, your uh, other kind of officers, as it were. Uh, each each uh, officer relies to a certain skill set. Here you can see the skills. So surgeon helps with hearts and uh, gunnery with uh, iron stuff like that. We'll explain that in a moment. Uh, so we'll choose our past. Thank you. Uh, and I'm going to go this time, you see you can be uh, a street urchin which gives you veils or you can be a poet which gives you pages and, and so on and so forth. I'm going to be a natural philosopher which gives you mirrors, the skill of detection and perception. Go. There we go and we got a surgeon so plus one pages which is here, here uh, and, and plus one hearts which is here. Uh, so you can see that and, and that and uh, and we'll, uh, you can choose your ambition. Um, one thing that I think is quite cool, you've got uh, these two options here for the moment. These are because they're, uh, um, this is not yet available, unlocked with key of histories. I guess, I'm guessing that's coming later. But um, you've got fulfillment, which means you have to write uh, a whole load of things. I'm not 100% sure. Or wealth, which is just getting loads of clothes. Loads of clothes? Sure. No, I saw the fine clothes and yeah, sorry. Um, it basically means you have to get a whole load of money and things and, and stuff. Uh, let's go wealth, why not? Uh, to win, gather a substantial retirement fund, upgrade your lodgings to a mansion and retire. So when you retire after getting those, you, you win. Uh, you can choose how people call you and because we are a natural philosopher, I think we're a lord. Uh, and there we go, that's all this. Captain, uh, they wish to know what term of address you prefer, my lord. So we will be uh, this guy. This is the guy I was before. That's strange. Um, this is the guy I was before because he's got a beard, and I will name this character after my beard. Reginald T. Chin Whiskers. Reginald T. Chin Whiskers is the uh, name of my beard. There we go. Uh, and there we are. We need to pause because otherwise we'll start getting uh, hunger and not terror, I don't think, but hunger will start going up and fuel. Okay, so basically, I think my map is saved. My map is not saved. Never mind. Um, I thought I saved my map from my last time. Apparently not. Uh, but there's a, you can go to the map here and you can travel all around. Basically, the idea is to travel around and level up. You level up by gathering pages, which is this here. Oh, you gather fragments, sorry. And then you can change the fragments into secrets. When you change a fragment, like, to change a fragment into uh, into secrets, you right-click on them, and you speak to them, and then you can level up, for example, hearts. This guy will level up hearts, I think. 
uh, possibly pages, I don't know. Uh, you also have a mascot, which gives me hearts. I don't have any other mascots. I haven't found any others. Um, so, basically, when you're in London, you can go to your lodgings, read the morning newspapers. Always do this when you start off, because you get recent news, and you can trade that for other things when you're out. I'd say in the world, out at sea, basically. Uh, you can do things like rest in a room, which heals wounds and stuff, but it costs echo, which is money. Uh, purchase an elegant townhouse, uh, write a will, uh, this can, uh, your heir attains your lodgings, any heirlooms and stuff. Uh, you can pass on money as well, uh, it, there's all these things you can do. I haven't, I think this is to win, retire happily if you have the correct ambition. That's the, uh, that's the fulfillment ambition, so you need all of these things to, to do that. Uh, and then consider retiring. You you need uh, the townhouse and a Z side Z side mansion and everything. Uh, and then you can go to that's my lodgings. Then you can go to London. Uh, they pay for information, so you can go out and find information on ports and stuff and bring it back for money and admiralty favors. Uh, you can visit the university, which we don't need to do yet because we need secrets. Uh, this can I'm not 100 percent sure what this does. I think possibly it gives you some 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 nice things, but uh, yes, I can't remember now. Uh, this is to reduce your terror. It's not massively effective. It's a matter of luck, and you have a, a luck quality. I don't know exactly what that is. Haron more crew. It's not really worth it, as Reginald Teach and Whiskers is now, because we've got eight crew out of ten, and it costs thirty echo. So no, not really. Uh, you can put your ship in the dry dock. Here you see you can get your ship repaired if you so want, and it's, it'll repair up to 25 point, points. You can also try these guys, which is a matter of luck, unfortunately. My luck's not always good. Uh, you can, let's see, is there anything else? Uh, passenger Passage to tomb colonists. I don't know exactly what, I think they're, they're kind of like almost dead people, but they can't die. They're on, they're on the verge of death, I think. Uh, so we'll do this. So they want us to go to Vendor Blight, uh, which I know where that is. So we can we can go there. Um, uh, what we also have is... Why is... Okay, give it a second. There we go. It just had a little bit. So you, we've got uh, the story. It gives you, you know, help me. You know, it gives you some information about how you do stuff. Uh, we'll go through that anyway. Uh, you've got your hold, what you've got, so we've got 9 fuel, 5 supplies, uh, 3 tomb colonists, we've got some curiosities, echo, money, invictus token, uh, in unforgiving mode. I don't exactly know what merciful mo mode is, but there you go, and recent news. We've also got a gun, a deck gun mark 2, plus 5 iron, so 30 iron there, and some veils and engine power there. Uh, your journal can tell you, you know, circumstances, accomplishments, you know, something of the Untersi. Uh Your officers don't have any. Shops, you can go to, like, the shipside provisioners and buy fuel and supplies. I think you can also trade. I haven't got used to that yet. And then you've got other available ships, too. Uh, you can get this one, which gives you smugglers and excisemen. Uh... Angry Vole, it's basically uh, less hold, but it's fighty. you got frigates, uh, you got Merchant Cruiser, you got a Dreadnought, which is really expensive. Uh, we don't have enough Echoes for any of that, so we're not going to be doing that. Um, so basically, now we have our, our objective. We're going to go off. And so W and S, slow it down, speed it up. Uh, WASD kind of A, uh, A and D move you left and right uh, space pauses and that's pretty much all you know we're going to go up the coast this way a little bit we might run into some enemies uh, the fighting is fairly simple but quite fun there's 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 no real massive amount of stuff to do I'm wondering if you can later on plumb the depths if you can get like a ship later on where you can like go underwater. Hello ship! Okay, should we do some ship combat? Let's do some ship combat! Would you like to fight me on my bicycle? Let's slow down so we can catch up. 
We'll keep going up this way, though. Come on. There you go. Alright. <clears throat> so, fighting. Here we go. Uh, so, basically, you have two types of attack. You have Salvo, which needs 50 illumination. Five seconds uh, cooldown, as it were. It takes five seconds to shoot, and then you can do it again. Uh, and then, attack. You have Devastating Salvo, which requires 100 illumination. It's based on iron, so that your iron d designates how much damage you do. Uh, and it takes 7 seconds, but it does more damage. So, uh, And then you have ways of illuminating, and this is the illumination here. Uh, so to use the salvo, you need 50 illumination here. They will be trying to illuminate you, you will be trying to illuminate them. You can see the hull and the crew here. So this flare illuminates an enemy, but also illuminates the attacker a little. So it illuminates me a little bit, but it illuminates them. Uh, you have potent flares, more effective than basic flares, but requires one fuel and increases own illumination. So it does the same thing, except for it illuminates me a little bit more and it uses up a fuel. So unless you've got a crap ton of fuel, I'd say probably not. Uh, and seek, reduces distance, increase their illumination. Does not increase your illumination, has a longer cooldown than firing flares. You can see I have mirrors. All this is based on, all the illumination is based on mirrors. So if I do that twice, we'll see how that goes and see how much we get. Uh, then you've got Evade, which is based on the veils there. Okay, let's go through these quickly. How hearts uh, inspire, heal, defend helps with test of terrors. Um, it helps when you're with, with your terror like this, when this goes up. This is, we'll explain that soon. Uh, and then, yeah, this is so difficult to explain, but here we go. We're, we'll do this bit, and then we'll do do a little bit, and then I'll give you my thoughts. Um, veils, uh, speed, stealth, deception, basically helps you get away. Like, you can evade, escape, you know, all that helps. Um, pages is knowledge, uh, speed at which you convert fragments to secrets. That's basically how quickly you level up, I guess. Um, mirrors is detection and perception, improves illumination abilities in combat. There's also a lot of options for mirrors in in kind of conversation and etc. And iron is basically fighty fight. Uh, so we're a bit more kind of illumination and we'll have a lot more options in. We'll have a lot more things we can do. It helps with puzzles and stuff like that as well. Uh, so basically we're going to illuminate th two times and then see if we can shoot them. So see they're doing the same thing. Uh, so we managed to illuminate them almost full. That's quite almost to 50. So if we do two, we have illuminated them to 68. Way more than we need to to blow them up. So you see they're on 70. And they're going to keep illuminating us, I guess. <clears throat> they're about to fire a salvo. They've got us to 89, but it's not enough. Oh god, they're doing quite a lot of damage to us. But we got them first. Okay, so we've had some damage done to us. Uh, what we're going to do, here you, here you can see what you can do. Uh, this, I think you just get a few different bits and pieces. Uh, not much, not much, but you get a few, like, just kind of like money and experience, I guess. Uh, if you send our home with a prize crew, matter of luck, 80% chance... Uh, you get more money for it. You basically get a prize for selling it off, I guess. Uh, so we're going to try this. Ah, balls. Well, we lost two crew. Let's head off. And it's not too bad. When you get, I think it's when you get below five, but below, below half, you can only go half speed, unfortunately. Uh, and you can see you've got distant bells, dust echoes. You know, you see you... Uh, you, you can find things and it gives you fragments. Here comes bats! Hello bats! We can't really get away from a fight, so we're not going to try. We'll do a couple of illuminations and salvos. They're seeking, you see, uh, to massively increase the illumination of myself. So you can see that goes up quite a lot. And you can see all the combat log here. The bat swarm distance comes closer, illumination etc. And now we're going to salvo them. Uh, they should die quite quickly. There you go. They're dead. Hurrah! Uh, we will... We don't really need to reduce the terror, so we'll uh, get supplies off them. So, when you meet monsters, you can get supplies. The other thing you can do, which I haven't managed to do yet, we're going to go through this bit here, it's a bit faster. 
there you go, and you can see discovered vendor blight, uh, gain secret. So to increase our hearts, we can speak to him. Uh, improve your pages, but no higher than 50. Oh, okay. He increases pages. There we go. So uh, we lost a secret, new total zero. Gain pages, now 26. So you can see our pages have gone up to 27 there. Uh, 26 because he gives us plus one pages, but yeah. He increases our pages by one, so that increases our XP gain. And you can see you get fragments, they get converted to secrets, and then you use the secrets to level up. And you can also use it for other kind of information gathering, I think. But here we are in Vendor Blight. Uh, and then we go to the Tomb Colony. Oh, no, what we do is we go to there and we sell these guys for Echoes. There we go. So so we kind of, we br we take them on for a little bit of money and then we sell them for more. And what we can do now is go to the Tomb Colony, uh, explore, unlocked with learning about the bandaged Poisonier, no more than zero, unlocked when something, okay, we might wait on, we'll gather gossip, there we go. Uh, and then we'll have a little, we can't do this. Uh, I don't know what we need. One key of histories. Okay, we, we it's oh it's not available in this build yet, and we can't do this because we don't have uh, too much terror. Uh, basically, hundred echoes and uh, twenty five terror. So this here um, means you can go and reduce your terror. Let's do this and see how it goes. Uh, lost terror. That's good. Okay, so ex uh, on deck you can hear the sound. Thousand bandage dead. Making as they sh make as they shuffle and cough, it's something like the world's most restless concert audience or the world's most plague-ridden cathedral. Here they favour the candlelight over gaslight. The shadows are swagged like cobwebs. The tomb colonist stands still enough to be mistaken for sculptures, sculpture, uh, until they laugh or cough. One building in three seems abandoned, uh, and th this is where we are. The twisty tip of the odd little side street, welcoming yellow grove. Sign reads: Vengeance of Jonah. Beefy tomb, uh, moustache, that's all. So we learned about the bandage poisonier. Uh, long wish to travel, recruit him as cook. We don't have enough money for that. Uh, you can give him a strange catch. Uh, small fee, return some of the material to your supplies. That's cool, because I know where to get a small cat. Uh, a strange catch. And sample today's special. Unlocked with terror. How much does it cost? 60 Echo? I don't think so. Sorry, mate, but we can now go... When we have more money, we can go and recruit him if we want, and I guess he'll come on as a cook. So that's quite cool. And what we're going to do is we're just going to... I don't want to go too long with this, so we're going to head back. Um, what we're going to do... So, yeah, Terror basically increases the more you're at sea. If you... I don't know how to turn off the peculiar noises from the engine. Okay. I don't know how to turn off the options. Do we have keys here? No. Note, note, note to yourselves, keys, because I don't know how to turn off. If you turn off the light, you're less obvious to things like bats and ships and stuff, enemy ships and stuff. Uh, but you're more obvious. Your 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 terror goes up faster. It goes up double the speed. Fire. You've pushed your engines too far, too fast. Sailors. Oh God. Tough challenge. Quickly, lost two crew, lost hull, hearts fail challenge, damn. So now you can see we've gone under the number of crew that we would really want. So we move slower. Hello, bats. Um, one, two, one, two, there we go, that should do it. Um, so yeah, we should be able to kill bats with no problem. I'm not sure if it goes, if the flares and everything go slower with less crew. It would make sense, but it doesn't look like it. So, oh, I didn't kill them this time. What they do is they, they like swoop down and take your men and stuff and they damn it. They take your supplies especially. So they're a little bit of a pain in the arse. The other thing you can do is while you're fighting, you can also observe, which can be really useful. Oh god, I'm going to have to fight more. L? Yeah, L, there you go. And they see the terror goes up quicker. You don't really want to turn off your lights if you can avoid it. Unless you're trying to sneak and you have a good way of... Uh... Yeah, so this is a light ship. What you can do is you can go over here and give them news of home. 
You lose recent news, but you loo you also lose two terror, so it's a good way to get rid of terror. <clears throat> um, there's no shops or, or anything you can do here, it's just a good way to get rid of terror. There we go. They're, they're having a little bit of problems here catching me, but we'll have to fight some bats soon. It's a, that's an interesting little way of things happening. Um, okay, well let's kill more bats. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't think... Yeah, so here you can see Observe uh, requires Illumination 25. So you have to get them there first, like that, and then Observe them, and then shoot them, and then Observe them, and then shoot them. Generally they can start harassing you while you're observing. So while it's good in a way, it's also bad. Uh, and we'll just get more supplies. Although, it yeah, and now these ones. Okay, so uh, I don't want to risk losing more crew members or supplies. Really, uh, you can see the terror is a little hot. It's getting higher, which isn't good. If I could increase my mirrors a bit more, uh, then I could probably illuminate once. Uh, observe. Actually, I think I can illuminate once. Ob ob oh, yeah, but. Yeah, so I what I I might be able to later when I've got my skills up a little bit. I'm gonna reduce terror a bit. There we go. I need to repair my ship. Hopefully, we'll get a fair amount of money for this. Um, in in a regular, you can also see like there's a place. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll do that. Um, what I this is what I'd usually do. I haven't played this many times. What I'd usually do is get go to two ports. Generally going up here and then down here. It's quite a good call because you can also take uh, uh, the coffin people to vendor bite um, and then you can call in here and get some news as well. Come on. Easy does it. There you go. Not too bad. Alright. Uh, and this is just a, a few women. Um, Walk in the guns. Lost five terror. Beautiful. So we're we're losing terror brilliantly, and we know something of Hunter's Keep. Uh, and then we will get a report for when we get back to town, and we'll go and say, "Oh, the parlor's empty. Never mind. They're not here." Um, <laughs> at least we got the report. Uh, so yeah, usually you can go and talk. There's three sisters here. Usually you can go and talk to one of them. And you can get like tales of terror and and stuff like that. And if you get recent news, you can you can tempt them out. But uh, I use my re recent news up the top there. Um, so yeah, basically, that's this is what the game is. It's uh, it's a roguelike. You know, if you die, you're done. You can there are ways of like leaving your map and will and stuff. I'm not 100% sure on them because I I was fairly sure I preserved my lap map from last time, but uh, apparently the game disagrees with me. Um, and yeah, you fight you fight other ships, you, sh you fight monsters. I think there seem to be factions and a few other things. Um, one of the interesting things that I didn't show, there's a story uh, where you have to find out something about your father, like find where he died and then figure out what happened to him and so on and so forth. Can I turn the lights off? Yeah, so if I turn the lights off here, I'm still in the light. So I think it uses less fuel. Uh, and we don't actually increase in terror when we're back here. Oh, we do a little bit if we're in the dark like this. But it's still not as much. It's as much as if we had our, our lights on like that. Pretty much. I don't know if that uses up more fuel or not, but uh, there you go. Um, oh look, you can hear policemen. I'm sorry, I'll give up. I'll surrender. Okay, there we go. So, we can now collect our messages from the Harbour Master. Boop. Um, so, all the clatter soothes the soul. Are there any messages for you? Let's see. That's all for now. Find a story when you next make port. to receive this from time to time. Someone wants to sign on, and something has changed in the Neath. Time, the healer. Your time at Z will change you, and London. We got this guy waiting for us. A very fine evening to you. Basically, he's got a mentor who wants to give me money for no apparent reason. You say why, and he's like, oh, well, you know, reasons. I'm going to accept it this time. 
because uh, he will give us, you can see what he gives you. Uh, five supplies, ten fuel, basically. Nice. Uh, we go to our lodgings and we get the news. You lose terror. Wonderful. Uh, and you now have recent news as well. You can rest in the room to heal a wound. Not wounded. Uh, so that's not too important. Um, then you can also... Oh, we'll go to the Admiralty's survey office. Because if we go here, we can tell them about Hunter's Keep. And you say, I trust sisters... They say, trust sisters keeping well, citizens of her enduring majesty, notionally. Uh, and you get five echo for that. And you get an Admiralty's favour. And then you talk about Vendor Blight. Vendor Bite. And you get another Admiralty's favour. And ten echo. And then what you can do is, uh, with two Admiralty's favours, you can say, is there anything in particular you need? And they say, go check out this port. So we need uh, strategic information from Gader's Morn in the Corsair's Forest. Uh, you get more money from this. I'm not sure how useful it is uh, in the long run, but you do get more money from this. Uh, we need to hire on more crew. But we got a new recruit here. Uh, office offer passage. We're not going to do that this time. I'm not going to go further. Uh, we'll go, new recruit. Um, engage an officer. See, these guys, 50 echo, 20 echo. How much do we have? 130. Why don't we get the... Advent increases iron and veils. Substantially increases iron. I think we could use some veils. So I'm going to take the 50... I think there. Oh, hello, Captain. Is this one of yours? I had to knock her about a bit. She didn't like taking orders from foreigners. Still, we're good friends now. The adventurous claps black eyed sailor on the back, and oddly enough, they do seem to be friends now. Dragging her from the officer's tab slot. Okay, there you go. So now we've got an officer. We have Presbyterate Adventurous. She's afraid of anything. It's Oh, if she's afraid of anything, it's boredom. Uh, and you've got plus six iron and, and plus three veils. So you can see now our iron's gone up and our veils have gone up. So we'll fight a little better and we'll be sneaky a little better. And the other thing we want to do is we want to go to London again. And we want to go to the dry dock so we can repair. How much? 15. Yes, please. Uh, 30, 15. Wait, why do they do a better job? No more than 74. Okay. So let's do that again. And uh, we're back to full health. We've got a, hot, full, a very, very full hold. And things are fairly good. Uh, so I may as well end it here. The only thing I sometimes have a problem with in this game. The only thing that pulls me out of the enjoyment. Is occasionally you read it and you're like, that is English. But it's not, you know, it's, it's English that kind of jolts you out and you go ah oh, that doesn't sound right you know that just sounds off a little bit you know so it is english it's not perfect english um uh and just yeah you, yeah it just it just pulls you out a little bit it's not brilliant um you may have heard a few instances when i'm when i've been reading out where you just think ah not quite no no not not quite uh, and we, oh, we do need more. Well, I'm not going to carry this on, but you know, sometimes you can't help but uh, try and play this properly. Uh, new recruit, damn it! I can't recruit more. Okay, so let's try this. Hire on more crew. Lost one terror, gained three crew. There we go, and we succeeded in the hearts challenge. You can see here, this this is a hearts challenge, uh, and we've got a lot of supplies and everything, so we should be fine. Going out to uh, where the bloody hell do we have to go? Journal. And here you can see accomplishments. Hunters keep surveyed it. Vendor blight. Vendor bite. I say blight every time. Uh, your terror bandaged po poissonier. Admiralty's favors and everything like that. Um, and you can see here the Admiralty Commission to go see Gader's Morn in the Corsairs Forest to the east. So presumably somewhere over here. Might even be that. I know it isn't that, but I was just, yeah. I think it's over here somewhere. Um, so, yeah, there you go, guys. Oh, yes, the one other thing I want to talk about is in the... When you start at the beginning and it says, you know, what do you want to do? There's one which says build an empire or, you know, kind of build your own. So it, that would be really interesting. And that's something I'm really interested in is the... If we go 
new game very quickly uh, and go to your past and then we'll go street urchin and we get the gunnery officer who gives you plus one iron yay it's not amazing uh, and that little guy gives you plus one hearts you can find other ones i've only seen one other one which was some cat that i didn't really need at the time uh, so you see, Fulfillment Wealth, your father's bones, find where and how your father died, and return his remains to London for decent burial. And that's kind of a, uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that's kind of a story one. Uh, to my east, find out, find what lies beyond the map's edge, uh, obviously not available in this build, but this one. Establish a settlement where you are absolute ruler, a utopia, perhaps, perhaps. That sounds really interesting, so... Where they seem to be wanting to go with this game, actually, you know, you've got Fulfillment, which is kind of like uh, getting a whole load of achievements, basically, uh, and then Retire. This is Wealth. You can basically retire whenever you like, almost like a sandbox, I guess. Uh, a story, one where you actually do your own kingdom, and one, I think, where you just kind of keep going. Maybe it will be procedurally generated after a certain point, which would be quite cool. Um, but yeah, it seems like they've got places they're going with this. And to be honest, I re you know the the top down is great. You know, it, there's it's very slight uh, reminiscing of um, of Faster Than Light, but not really. It's like a completely different game. It's just in the same style of, I guess. Um, you know, if they add more things to it, which you know it's an early access, so I'm assuming they do. I wouldn't advise you to go out and buy it straight away. You know, if if you're really interested in... Oh, yeah. Uh, go. There we go. Except, only the gods of Deep Z are nameless. Oh, that's quite cool. D, 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 D. Hello, D, 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 D. Uh, and you can see if you don't... If you forget to pause, your hunger will go up and stuff. Should do, anyway. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you can see that this uh, game is quite interesting. Definitely one to keep an eye on. If you're interested in where it, will, where it will be going, where they want to take it, then I'd say, you know, maybe grab the game and give it a little play. Obviously, don't overplay it. Something I always say about early access games. Never overplay early access games. Play it a little bit. Enjoy it. If you're, if you're a YouTuber, if you're a streamer like me, then maybe play it quite a lot if, you're, if your viewers enjoy it. But still, don't ruin the game for yourself by overplaying it now. Uh, before everything's added in. But yeah, um, there's also Fallen London, which is a game. I think it's a free browser game. If you're interested in this game, again, you might want to check it out. I don't know what it's about. I could even do a video on it, maybe. Um, if it's one of those things you can actually do a video on. So yeah, at the end of the day, it looks really interesting. For early access, seems solid. Uh, the only thing that even slightly bothers me is the sometimes the, the English phrasing. Uh, just feels a little bit off and it, it kind of rips me out of what I'm reading. Um, aside from that, I have no particular reason to say to you, don't buy it. Um, you know, it seems like a very solid game and it seems like it could be very interesting as time goes on. So, not necessarily a buy now, but I'd say definitely keep your eye on it. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I hope I helped you decide whether you like it, whether you don't, or at least introduced you to a, to a new game that you might enjoy now or in the future. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.